Tough loss in a possible World Series matchup. More to come. Hey guys, welcome to the newest edition of Lad Talk. We had the Burbank boy on the mound, Jack Flaherty, going up against his former team, the Baltimore Orioles. He's been good for the Dodgers, making just his fifth start since coming over at the trade deadline. And he looked pretty good, a couple of mistakes, and that would seal the deal as far as this one is concerned. Home run in the top of the second by Ryan O'Hearn to put the Orioles on top. His first home run in over a month, his last home run coming on July 20th. Jumping out in front early, ahead of the Dodgers. But then in the bottom half of the inning, they answered right back. Tommy Edmond had that triple. And then Mickey Rowe, he's been clutch all year. What a bat he's been. Uh, that guy, he, he's really, he's a ball player. And he's going to get the job done. Getting the sack fly to tie things up. Then in the bottom of the third, Shohei Otani getting things going with two outs. With that single, Mookie Betts following him up with a walk. And then Teoscar Hernandez doing his thing in the three-hole tonight. He's been clutch all year. He's been what this team has needed. Driving in the run to give the team a 2-1 to one lead. Freddie Freeman, unfortunately, not in that three spot tonight. He's having issues with that middle finger on his right hand. He's got that hairline fracture. Hopefully, we see him back in the lineup pretty soon. He's not expected to see any time on the injured list. Uh, but Freddie out tonight, Teoscar Hernandez picking up the slack, giving the Dodgers a 2-1 to one lead. And then Jack Flaherty looking pretty good up until that top of the fifth. He gave up that two-run home run to Ramon Urias, and that would be all it took to defeat the Dodgers tonight. The bullpen looking pretty good after taking over for Flaherty after the sixth. You had Vesia, Brazier, and Kopech to finish it off. No runs allowed by them. This bullpen, they've allowed the most home runs of any bullpen in the major leagues in August. And they've got to get that figured out. They've had some issues there. But getting the job done tonight, nothing allowed after Flaherty's solid six innings of just three runs allowed. This offense not getting the job done tonight, um, it, it raises questions. They DFA'd Jason Hayward after the game-winning home run last week. They're keeping Chris Taylor on this roster. Questionable move. You know, he's got the versatility. He can play outfield and infield. His defense is very serviceable. It'll do them well in October, but... If this guy's getting at bats in October, he's hit batting just 160 on the year. He didn't look any better tonight. Had that opportunity to win it in the ninth, not getting the job done. He hit the ball hard, put it into play, but um, it, it raises the question, should Chris Taylor be on this roster right now? They let a guy like Jason Hayward go. Remember, he was the guy who gave the pep talk to the Cubs before that 2016 Game 7 when they won their first World Series in 108 years. Um, so that's that's a tough guy to let go. He was picked up by Houston. We'll see how he does over there. Uh, but I tell you what, if Chris Taylor is in this lineup in October and he's striking out the way he's done all year, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad taste in the mouth of Dodger fans. You like the versatility, but this team's got enough depth. I don't know if that was the right move. Jason Hayward is a clubhouse guy. He He's not going to give you the best at bat, but I like Jason Hayward coming off the bench a lot better than I like Chris Taylor. Uh, but Dodgers not getting the job done tonight. Um, these are the teams they're going to have to beat. The bullpen looked good. Flaherty gave them a great start. He gave them a chance to win exactly what they needed. Offense not able to do it tonight. Just one for seven with runners in the scoring position. So they had opportunities to get the job done. Uh, only scoring those two runs early in the ball game. Tough loss tonight. They've got a chance tomorrow. You're going to see Corbin Burns going up against Walker Bueller. Hopefully Walker Bueller, he looked good in his last start. Hopefully he can keep that going and give him a quality start tomorrow night. Guys, if you like what we're doing here at Lad Talk, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate any support you can pass our way. As always, let's go Dodgers.